Okay guys, so today we are gonna look at the Excalibur series. A lot of people have been asking for this and we actually have one in our store right now. So do the review on that. I'll compare it against the Merlins and the Roscoe's as requested. Um, in other news, so did anyone see the new Mavic Air 2 which came out? Uh, pretty sweet camera system. Very tempting to upgrade from the Mavic Mini I have right now. Okay, so today we're checking out the Excalibur series, which a lot of people have been asking for. Um, it's gonna be a pretty nice. We've got the Excal 9 in stock, and we are gonna have a quick review and compare them against the Roscoe's and the Marlins as requested. So did anyone see the new Mavic Air 2? That is some pretty sick specs for a small drone. Very tempting, very tempting to upgrade the Mavic Mini. So today we are looking at the Excalibur 9. I know a lot of people have been requesting this bike. Um, this is obviously the highest end in the Excalibur series, so it does get with the XT12 speed. Um, really fast, really responsive shifting. Um, looks like they've done a slightly new design on the derailleur here, so it's going to be probably a little stiffer and responsive. Um, with this model you do get the remote lockout, um, which works probably 60% of the time from our adjustments. Um, still a nice little feature to have. I'm honest, Kevin. I'm honest. Really nice colorway on this one. Um, with the Excal series, you do not get a dropper post like you would the Roscoe series. And the head angle is a little steeper, so it is a little more cross-country. I know a lot of people think that the Roscoe is the exact same frame as the Excalibur, but it is not. Still the Alpha Gold Aluminum, but this is made a bit more for cross country as opposed to the Roscoe, which is made for more down country, fun throw it around. Um, so, yeah. You do get hydraulic disc brakes on all the models, whether it's a 7, 8, or 9 for the Excalibur. With the 9, you get in the MT400s. With the 7 and 8, you get in the MT200s. Um, yeah, minor notice, you'd feel in the kind of feel of the braking and stopping power but it's not a huge difference big difference between the models is really the drivetrain so you get the XT 12 speed on the 9 you get the SRAM SX 12 speed on the 8 which is a really nice spec to it obviously a little heavier and nowhere near as fast shifting as the 12 speed um, XT but still pretty impressive with the Seven, you are going back to a two by on the front um, and a variety in the back. I forget how many, but most people I think will try and jump up to the one by series. All of them have the exact same tire setup on them, except the eight and the nine have the Covey rims, tubeless ready. The seven is just the Bontrager connection tire or rim which is just an entry-level rim, will be significantly heavier compared to the Covey's um, and I'm not 100% sure if that's tubeless or any. Otherwise, that's pretty much the Excaliburs. There's not too much to talk to, honestly. They're a simple bike. They're made to be lightweight, so they get rid of the drop posts and anything they can. Um, go to a similar front fork as what the Roscoe's would have, but with the option of the remote lockout and lighter weight wheels. This is kind of a cross-country bike compared to uh, a more playful bike from the Roscoe. Um, and the Merlin series in comparison would be uh, more of a commuter style, a little comfier geometry as opposed to this aggressiveness. I'm really changing the head tube angles by like two degrees so it's not really uh, a massive difference. of the Merlins down here like we say compared to Excal you gotta get a slightly more commuter ready geometry with it the suspension is not going to be as good um, with the 7 and the 7 they will be um, 
is pretty much the exact same drivetrain from the Merlin 7 to the Xcal 7. You're just switching out the frame. All the rest of the components are pretty much the exact same. Um, so this is essentially an Xcal 7 with the Merlin frame. So the 7 will always represent the component spec. So yeah, if you're wondering whether you should get the Merlin 5 or 6 or 7 or then jump into the Xcal or Roscoe series, there is a, a small amount of crossover. With the Merlin 7, you are getting the same prior spec as the Xcal 7. And with the Roscoe 7, it is a completely different prior spec. So the 7 doesn't always represent the same thing. If you're looking for a commuter friendly bike, the Merlin is their goal. If you're looking for a more cross country trail bike, the Xcal is their goal. And if you're looking for kind of fun all around, who cares bike, you're looking at the Roscoe, which is the most popular one we see here. The Merlin is a great bike and can do trails, but not really designed for the racing side of things. The Xcal is designed that you could race and really be a fast trail rider. And the Roscoe again is just designed to kind of hammer the trails make a mess, have fun. Just looking for a casual ride where you're gonna have fun and be able to be very capable on it. That's why going to a one-by system on any of the Roscoe's is a nice benefit. And that's just because of the simplicity of it. So it makes it a simple ride, easy for anyone to use. Okay, so yeah. Now we've kind of gone over all the bike series. Check out my video for the Merlin 5 comparison or the Merlin comparison, 5, 6, 7. Check out the video for the Roscoe comparison. And now we've done a quick one on the Excalibur. The Excalibur is definitely slowing in popularity. More people are choosing the bit more comfy geometry of the, the Merlin. And then they're switching over to the Roscoe for that fun, playful uh, ride in the off-road scene. The Xcal is kind of just falling into this weird place where nobody knows if they want it or not. Really, it's just the entry-level racers are starting to use this bike. It's lightweight, it's got a good geometry for that, really responsive. It's just in a funny time of life, and I think they'll maybe be changing it up soon to make it more defined where it's going, more of a race bike or, or remove it altogether. I'm not 100% sure found this video helpful please subscribe and do a thumbs up because it does help everything i will keep making them we will be transitioning already to the 2021s come late july early august so that's kind of cool with every kind of everything that's going on in the world things are being bumped up a little bit faster um, and uh, keep an eye out for new videos coming up i will be doing videos on the gear i use so the camera system my drone um, had a few people ask about that so we will be doing that and yeah, keep an eye. Good luck everyone.